write the first five terms of the following sequence. It looks like we'll start at n equals 1 because we're told that n is greater than or equal to 1. So we'll start by replacing all of the n's with 1's. So a sub 1 is equal to negative 1 to the 1 times 3 to the 1. Negative 1 to the first power is negative 1. So we get negative 1 times 3, which is negative 3. Now before we go further, let me just write this down over here. If you have negative 1 and you have an even number, that's 1. If you have a negative 1 and you have an odd number, that's negative 1. Very, very useful stuff. Okay, a sub 2, we get negative 1 squared times 3 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1, so we get 1 times 9, which is 9, right? Because 2 is even, and negative 1 to an even number is equal to 1. a sub 3, this is negative 1 cubed times 3 cubed. So negative 1 cubed is negative 1, and 3 cubed is 27. So we end up with negative 27. a sub 4. This is negative 1 to the 4th power times 3 to the 4th power. Negative 1 to the 4th power is 1 because 4 is even. 3 to the 4th power is 81. So this is equal to 81. a sub 5. Just replace all of the n's with 5's. So you get negative 1 to the 5th power times 3 to the 5th power. 5 is odd. So negative 1 to the 5th power is negative 1, and 3 to the 5th is 243. So we end up with negative 243. So the final answer is negative 3, 9, negative 27, 81, and negative 243. I hope this helps.